preparation for the September 21st governorship elections in Edo State is at its last stage with this stakeholders meeting convened by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Chairman of the Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakobo, is with other stakeholders, including the Inspector General of Police, Kayodo Egbetokun, traditional rulers, civil society members, and representatives of 18 political parties in the state. And he says it is to give updates on its preparedness to conduct the election, with assurances to give all political parties equal opportunities. Maritime transportation of personnel and materials. We have arranged for the delivery of sensitive materials for the election, and these materials will arrive at those tests early next week. We have made arrangements for land and maritime transportation of personnel and materials. In just five days at world level, over 125,000 PBCs were collected representing 68.3% of all the new BPCs we delivered to the state. By the time we had the figures of collection at local government level, which ended on Sunday last week, the figure is going to go even higher, and the percentage will probably approach 80%. Inspector General of Police Kayode Egbetoku says 35,000 security personnel and 8,000 from other security agencies Will be deployed for the election. He gives his expectation of their neutrality during the process, even as he warns politicians not to go against the Electoral Act. I want to emphasize that the management of election security, so that the responsibility of the Nigeria Police Force and other national security agencies within the ISIS. This responsibility does not extend to quasi security entities or non state actors. I hereby direct all local security apparatus within the new state to refrain from interfering with election security functions. This of a new state security corps, which has been suspended, remains suspended until further notice. Key players, including political parties, commended the preparation of INEC so far, but wants improvement on some areas that may likely hinder the process. Mm -hmm. About 134 observer groups, including 10 international organizations, have been accredited to monitor the election. See you on the AIT News. Today.